Hello and welcome back. In the next few lessons, we will be looking at core Azure products and services. Especially, we will be looking at Azure architecture within the Microsoft Azure Cloud. We will go through it, each of these five different uh, concepts which we will be exploring in more depth over the next few lessons. Our first lesson will be looking at the regions in, within Microsoft Azure and we will take a look at how there are currently 55 different regions each made of multiple data centers within the uh, spread of that region. Next we will be looking into availability zones and we will see how an availability zone actually groups into two or more data centers together and we will see how there are multiple availability zones within a region. We'll also take a look at how we can deploy certain Azure products and services to specific availability zones. So even if one is down within our region, the other one can still up and running and servicing our request for our applications. In our next lesson, we will take a look at Microsoft Azure resource groups and we will see how we can group resource, resources uh, together inside one resource group and that all share the same deployment lifecycle as well as how we can use a resource group to scope access control across the collections of different resources. In the next lecture, we will also have a look on Azure Resource Manager which is the main deployment of management of API for Azure resources and we will take a look at different ways we can use uh, this via for example REST API or PowerShell and we will take a look at Azure resource manager templates which will give us a nice declaration way of defining all our resources that we need and final lesson will components that will be just discussed within the Azure. We'll take a look at how we can deploy our applications and systems across multiple regions. So even if entire region is down, our app still stay up. We'll take a look at how to deploy across availability zones. Again, if one is down, we can make sure that another is up and running, our applications still stay up. We will take a look at correct approaches to setting up resource groups for grouping our resources within resource groups. We will also take a look at in depth at using the Azure Resource Manager properly so we can consolidate all of our work into a set of templates that define the entire infrastructure we needed. So I hope you are excited to learn about these core Azure architecture component. I hope this lecture is useful for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.